It's round one of the World Blitz Championship. Vladislav Kovalev is waiting for Magnus Carlsen to arrive. He tells the arbiter, please don't start the clock. But the arbiter says it's rules and he has to play. So he plays E4 and waits for Magnus to arrive. It's already a minute and 20 seconds into the game and there's no sign of the world champion. Where is he? Now we are down to a minute, only 49 seconds left and in the distance we see Magnus running into the playing hall. He's worn a sweatshirt and pajama pants it seems. He comes running in, apologizes to Kovalev and sees that he has only 30 seconds left in a 3 minute game and he plays the French defence. Kovalev goes d4, d5 and he takes, he takes, exchange French is not the main repertoire of Kovalev. He plays the French Tarash but today it seems like he wants to keep it simple. Maybe not the best strategy when your opponent has little time. Magnus has only 35 seconds but remember there's a 2 second increment per move. Magnus now calms down in his chair. Well, he came running in at some point. He must have been shocked with the amount of time left. But the good news is that Kovalev is giving him time to relax. And there you can see Magnus trying to get a bit acclimatized to what's happening. It's a new tournament. It's the first round. And Kovalev is thinking what to do. But why is he thinking so much? Either you can take on d5, you can play knight c3, you can push the pawn, or you can develop some pieces. Maybe he's just letting Magnus calm down. We don't know what's the reason why he's thinking so much. And now he brings out his knight to c3. Magnus instantly castles. Kovalev still has a solid one and a half minute on the clock uh, lead. While Magnus has 35 seconds. Will this be enough? Now, a good plan here is to take on d5 and then you are a pawn up. But what Magnus wants to do is he wants to put his knight on d7 to b6 and eventually recapture the pawn on d5. That's how he wants to play it. I have a very serious feeling that Kovalev wants the disadvantage of Magnus to be minimized here by taking so much time. But also he's a player who takes quite a bit of time when he's playing blitz chess. Check bishop e2, knight comes to d7. And look at Magnus there adjusting all his pieces in spite of having just 30 seconds left. That is pure Magnus touch there. Castles, h6 played again, adjusting couple of pieces. Well, the idea of h6 is that you prevent bishop to g5 coming in. He goes rook e1 and Magnus now plays knight to b6. Now there's no real way to defend this pawn. In fact, what Kovalev should have done is he should have played bishop c4, knight b6 and bishop b3 and he would have been up a pawn. But now, he's going to lose that pawn. He goes knight e5 <coughs> and I think it's a good time for Magnus to chop the pawn on d5. He takes it with 28 seconds left. Magnus now feeling confident because Kovalev also has just 52 seconds on the clock. But the position is round about even. Already Magnus seems to have equalized with the black pieces, which is good news. Now what does Ma what does Vladislav do? Does he take on d5? He plays bishop f3. Magnus solidifies his knight in the center with c6. And for the first time in the game, Kovalev is below Magnus on time and we are just on move number 12. So even though Magnus arrived two and a half minutes late to the game, within 12 moves, he has taken the time lead. And you can see Magnus now feeling a little bit comfortable there. <laughs> Both the players playing like they have so much time in the world. But just 15 seconds, queen b6 is a good move. He puts his queen there. And now Kovalev can take on d5. He does. Magnus takes back with his knight. And he can actually chop on d5, cd and win a pawn. But if you take on d5, there's bishop e6 and already it gets very complicated. So he takes on b6, which is the correct decision. But now if you notice carefully, black has the bishop pair. And also his rook is now active down the a file. 
Kowalev has only four, three. Oh, he plays his move with three seconds on hand. Bishop d2. And now, pawn push to f6, moving the knight away. The knight comes back to d3. And Magnus takes. Now, if you take with the rook, then the a2 pawn can hang later. So, he takes with the bishop. And now, with four seconds left, Kowalev has to play quickly. Attacking d4, he defends it. Bishop comes out to f5. Now the d3 knight is hanging with one second left. He plays knight e1. Oh my god. a3. b5 played. Excellent chess. Rook c1. And now rook c4. Good move. Kowalev blunders with rook d1. Bishop takes a3. is possible, but Magnus misses it. Takes on b4. Bishop takes. Rook takes. Now there are two weaknesses on b2 and d4. But for now, Magnus is expanding on the king side and he will slowly try to create some play the position is around equal here it's not so easy for black to make progress and you can sense it in magnus that he's not too happy he takes on g3 but the thing is you can keep playing here and kowalev now has built up some time but he's again going down to three seconds he brings his king in which is a good idea king f2 he goes back and now, where's the plan for Magnus? What is he going to do? He goes rook a4 because he wants to enter via a1. That could be his plan. And now the bishop is planning to come to b5. Magnus moves in, rook a1. And in comes rook d1. You don't want to trade the rooks. So rook a2, rook d2. And now the pawn is moving forward. So Kowalev says, let me quickly bring my king over to the queen side to defend my b2 pawn. He does that, king d3. Bishop b5 check, king c2. And Magnus must remain very careful. What does he do? He has, he's a little bit confused with 5 seconds. Plays his bishop to c4, king b1. And the rook comes back. Now he wants to swing his rook over to the other side. And he does it, rook e8. And now knight f5 is forced. No, he blunders. This is the losing blunder because now these two pawns are very strong. And you can see Magnus knows that he is better here. He can take on f3, he can give a check, he gives b3 check, king here takes on f3 and the problem is now he's simply a pawn up here for Kovalev, he's simply a pawn down, he plays rook f4, you can't go into the pawn endgame so he's going to lose another pawn, no, for now Magnus does not take the pawn on g4 because f6 is hanging, so he'll wait, he'll bring his king over here and then take the pawn, check, king e5, and now the rook goes here, he takes, rook takes b3, but this is straightforward win with two extra pawns. Your pawns are very strong together. Magnus puts his rook behind the pawn, Kovalev resigns, Magnus apologizes for this very weird game where he was 2 minutes 30 seconds late, but he managed to play quite well, even with such a big time difference. And Magnus... Uh, gets off from the board what was the reason for the delay why did he came come late to the round well let's figure out let's follow magnus out to the playing hall you know out of the playing hall where he'll be interviewed by nrk there you can see him uh, in puma pants the thing is magnus has his uh, clothes and there you can see anish saying nice pants there uh, he has all of his clothes in the <laughs> at the venue so he's going to change there i believe but because he came late he got no time to change his clothes let's go to nrk and see what magnus has to say Da holdt jeg kreds, men det var litt sånn sjokk å komme til kreds og si, åh, tre sekunder. Så nå skal jeg gå og skifte, og så er jeg forhåpentligvis helt klart til det. Hva har skjedd? Kunne du si det? Det er fucking traffic. I en spijama. Ah, he... He changes? No, he has enough time with those guys to change. No, 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 he's going to change now. Ah, okay. And he got stuck in traffic, he said, so... Life is full of exciting events, but it is our first impressions that we remember best. Your first diploma. Your first job in a big company. 
Unforgettable emotions from the first date. The first expensive things you bought when you got your first paycheck. And your first investments with Freedom Broker. Freedom Broker. Look at your favorite brands from a new perspective.